One of my favourite aspects of Spider-Man Far From Home was its comedy, and one of my favourite scenes, well possibly my favourite scene in the MCU, was this very specific scene with Mr. Dell. I'm gonna be a cool teacher right now. You gotta stop doing that, okay? It is weird. No more photos in the bathroom. Urinal or stalls, okay? Mr. Dell and Mr. Harrington and the high school aspect of Spider-Man Far From Home I think was absolutely hysterical and I was talking with my good friend The Amotic Nerd um, one day on Instagram we were talking about how funny it was and he came up with the idea of a spin-off TV show on Midtown High that is a comedy, no Spider-Man whatsoever I just have to say, it, I just went like, that could be amazing that I think would be absolutely outstanding and today, I'm going to talk about my ideas for a Midtown High spin-off TV show. Let's start. So, basically, doing the plot of a Midtown High spin-off TV show, you'd have to make it more comedic, more funny, and more and bring back the actors who played the characters in the Spider-Man's Tom Holland duology. Yes, you can bring back Tom Holland, J.B. Smoove is Mr. Dell, Martin Starr is Mr. Harrington, and Jacob Baitlin, I think that's his name, who plays Ned, and Zendaya as MJ. But when I said Peter Parker, yes, you can have Peter Parker in the show, but here's the thing, no Spider-Man plot whatsoever. The whole point of a Midtown High TV show would to be focused more on the school aspect rather than the Spider-Man aspect. Yes, you can have scenes with Spider-Man and mentions of Spider-Man and references even, but no. Do not make it slowly on Spider-Man. You can mention it, you can show bits and pieces of him in the action, but make the show focused on the school only to make it more and more comedic. Characters such as Mr. Dale, Mr. Harrington, they need to have humour to them. They need to have life into their characters. Like, here's a really good example of a very funny scene in Spider-Man Far From Home. You know, being a man of science, which is... And I want to see more scenes like that. There's a really funny bonus feature on the Spider-Man Far From Home Blu-ray. Blu and I have to say, it's really funny. And I, I loved it. I just, I laughed my ass off at it. Another aspect I would like to see is the relationships between Ned, um, Peter, MJ. And who would be the main character? I think they should put Ned as the main character. Yes, we've had Peter as the main character in Spider-Man, and since I said you can have him in the show, but make Ned the main character. Put more focus on Spotlight on his character. Ned's the big comic relief of the Spider-Man duology so far for Tom Holland, and he possibly could become the best character for a lot of people. I personally think he's one of my favourite characters in the duology so far. We just have to wait until the third Spider-Man movie from Tom Holland is released in summer 2021, but that won't be until two years from now. Ned, I think, is a very funny character, and I would love to see more scenes with him and possibly interactions with him and Betty. Maybe um, you could expand Peter and MJ's relationship just a little bit, but you'd have to be careful because you don't want to make it like a Spider-Man story. Now, when I say Spider-Man story, I don't mean oh, we have to have Spider-Man attacking villains. No, that's not the point of this show. The point of the show is to be comedic, to be funny, to make the show feel bright, light-hearted. Light-hearted will work for the show's tone, because both Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home, despite them having dark aspects and Homecoming having a very dark final battle between Peter and the Vulture, this show has to be more light-hearted. It has to feel more of a tone of a high school TV show. Something like My Babysitter is a Vampire or even the Power Rangers TV series even. Comedy will have to be a big aspect for the show, as comedy is going to be its main thing, especially with Mr. Dell and Mr. Harrington. In real life, J.B. Smoove is a comedian. I mean, he's so funny from what I've seen of him. Mr. Dell is one of my favourite characters in the Spider-Man films by Tom Holland. He's just awesome, he's just hilarious, and you just want to see a show focused on him. You know that film you watch when you see t some characters that you just find absolutely hysterical? Those are Mr. Harrington and Mr. Dell for me. They're characters that I just laugh my ass off at every single scene they're in. They're just very funny. They really, they're very bright characters. They're very pleasant and you just get a good smile whenever they're on screen. And one of the things I'd like to see in the TV show is possibly, maybe, references to J. Jonah Jameson. You can have J. Jonah Jameson in, 
But you could have Peter or Ned meet up with J. Jonah Jameson. Maybe J. Jonah Jameson pays a visit to the school and wants to tell the school about how being a photographer works. I think that'd be interesting. I would also like to see maybe a detention for Ned. Maybe Ned messes up with something and he gets suspension or detention for it and maybe Peter is involved with that. I think it would be really funny if they make the show relatable to real life school problems. I'd like to see maybe something like, because a while ago a meme page on my school was made and then there was some big trouble going on about that. Maybe someone in Midtown High, like Brad Davis, makes a meme page of Midtown High and posts it on social media and then the teachers get involved and Brad Davis gets in big trouble. Brad Davis is another character I'd like to see character development. Is he still annoyed with... Peter for getting into the bathroom with the European woman, even though that was supposed to be part of the Spider-Man responsibility. I think it'd be really funny if you develop him a little more too. And one thing they should not do in the Midtown High TV show spin-off, MCU tie-ins. Oh boy. Now, before I say this, I don't mean characters such as Spider-Man. I'm fine with them tying it to the Spider-Man films. You can have Spider-Man in there, that's fine, because the TV show is connected with the two Spider-Man movies by Tom Holland. But when I say MCU tie-ins, I mean characters such as Thor, Doctor Strange, characters such as Star-Lord, no. And even Nick Fury, no. No. Absolutely not. That is cheap fan service. One of people's biggest problems, like my friend Harry Thomas and Ali Pajak, have the big problem with Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home. The purpose of Nick Fury and Tony Stark is probably nothing, and that they're just there to tie it into the MCU. And, to be fair, I can kind of see where they're coming from. This show has to have its own identity. You can have it connected to the Spider-Man duology by Tom Holland, but you don't even have to make it canon. You could just make a standalone TV show. That would be pretty funny due to the ending of Spider-Man Far From Home. Well, I'm not going to spoil it just in case you haven't seen it. But it just, well, depends if you want to do the show taking place after Spider-Man Far From Home. But I just think characters like Thor and all, they have no purpose. They're just, they would just be there for the show as fan service. Be like, oh, we know him, Star-Lord and Groom and Rocket Raccoon. They're in there to tie into the MCU. Yay. No, that's not the point. The point is to keep it strictly, solely as its own identity. Do not tie it in to the MCU. That's all I can say for my ideas of a Midtown High spin-off TV series. I can't think of much ideas I have for a Midtown High TV show, other than I would love to see it, and it's something that I really would love to watch. It would make me laugh. And who knows, maybe someone will. I mean... Disney Plus, Marvel, listen, make a show, please. Because it would be awesome, it would be hilarious, it would be hysterical. And no MCU tie-ins, just, that's just typical fan service. But what do you guys think of the video? Do you guys agree with my points and that the show should be made and should be made into a comedy? Or do you just think they should just stick to the Spider-Man trilogy by Tom Holland? Well, for me... I'd love to see the Midtown High spin-off TV show more than the Spider-Man 3 by Tom Holland, but that's just me. If you guys disagree, that's cool. Leave your opinion down in the comments. I'll see you guys next time, and stay tuned for the Talk About Show episode 4. Until then, skidoosh everyone.